NBC3 is digging deeper into the Heidi Allen kidnapping case tonight. Good evening. I'm Matt Mulcahy. And I'm Megan Coleman. All week we've been focusing on the kidnapping conviction of Gary Thibodeau as he gets hospice care at Coxsackie Correctional 24 years after the disappearance of Heidi Allen. Last night we took a key question to the district attorney. How do you explain the absence of any evidence of Heidi Allen or a struggle inside the van? Prosecutors maintain was used during the kidnapping. Well, tonight we're fact checking the claim made by Gregory Oakes that the van was suspiciously absent of materials. That's not what investigators found in 1994. There was hair, there were fingerprints, but not Heidi Allen's. The 18 year old disappeared while working at a convenience store in New Haven in Oswego County. It was Easter Sunday, 1994. The investigation quickly focused on the Thibodeau brothers. A jury convicted Gary Thibodeau in the kidnapping. He's now in failing health in prison. Prosecutors had no evidence to connect him to the scene of the crime, but the claim was made that Gary must have been in the van helping his brother abduct Heidi Allen. This is the photo of inside Richard Thibodeau's van. Photos taken by the Oswego County Sheriff's Department six days after Heidi Allen's kidnapping. Trial testimony shows investigators checked it with ultraviolet light, vacuumed it to capture particles, and dusted it for fingerprints, all with the consent of Richard Thibodeau. They wanted to take my van that evening. I said, yeah, you can take my van. You can go through it. You can do whatever you want. I said, I haven't got nothing to hide. I didn't do anything anyway. The van left plenty for investigators to test. The FBI lab report shows they found five latent fingerprints, hairs, and fibers in the van. Yet when we talked with the district attorney this week, he gave a much different summary of the evidence in the van. How come they didn't find anything in... Richard Thibodeau's van then? Well, one of the interesting questions is, you know, when they looked at it is, they talked about the absence of fingerprints and DNA and hair fibers kind of across the board, not just relating to Heidi Allen. Um, if you were to go to my vehicle right now, that's you know, used and traveled in, you're probably going to find fingerprints and DNA from other people, hair fibers from my kids. The question is, it would be unusual to find any person's vehicle to find a complete absence of any of those things. So the fact that there was a complete absence indicates to me that somebody was cleaning it and maybe taking special efforts to make sure that those types of things weren't found. At trial, Oswego investigator Nicholas Kleist testified, saying he found fingerprints and compared them to both Thibodeau's and Heidi Allen. When asked what they revealed, he said they didn't match. There was no identification. FBI Special Agent Christopher Allen also testified as a forensic expert for the Bureau. He testified to the vacuum scrapings from the van containing hairs. He did not find any matching Heidi Allen. Now, the FBI forensic team also was given samples of carpet from the van for their own examination. Trial testimony showed more hair found, some from animals, and the human hairs did not match Heidi Allen. So what is the district attorney saying about all of this tonight? Well, I reached out to him a couple of hours ago, and just as our story aired tonight, my phone rang. I have yet to talk to him, but we'll reach out to him again. Now, tonight at 11, our coverage of this case continues. We're talking with a woman who was on the Heidi Allen jury. Why she now regrets the verdict reached in the Gary Thibodeau trial, that's tonight at 11. You can watch all these stories from this week and read an in-depth article on our visit to Gary Thibodeau in prison by going to our website, cnycentral.com.